everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today we are here with November favourites. I have not a lot to show you. It's been a really swatch video heavy month. So I will try and link down below to some of the videos that I've done this month. I had a new collaboration collection come out with Pampered Polishes, um, which was the Potions Class collection, so that's down there. I've done the Bow Polish review. I did my China Glaze review. So many reviews and so many swatch videos that I didn't really wear much other than those polishes, which is which is fine. Uh, so we have seven new polishes to wear and uh, two re-wears, so let's get going. The only mainstream new wear is Press Pause by Essie. I picked this up in TK Maxx a few months ago and it's always been one that I wanted and I don't know why. It's just a really beautiful tone of grey. Grey isn't my favourite, I do prefer the more lighter, I guess maybe more purple grey but it was just a really nice formula you guys also loved it on my nails when i posted it on instagram a great cream formula from essie really really enjoyed it nice two coater simple press pause uh essie I have three UK, oh, two UK and one European polish. So the European polish was another one of the Miss Sparkle Care Bears Crellies. This one is Good Luck Bear. I love these all. I bought seven out of, I think, ten or nine of the collection. And this is the white base one with all the green in there for the Good, good Luck Clover um, effect. So there is neon green, there is metallic green, and there is like an, a foresty green in a variety of different shaped glitters in the white base. This took two coats, some of them have been three coats, some have been two, but I felt this one was slightly more opaque. Um, I love this series. Two coats of Good Luck Bear by Miss Sparkle. The first UK branded polish was Hoth um, by Prism Polish. Now I had to rewear this out because my son who's just turned six is become obsessed with Star Wars and in particular the planet of Hoth which is the snow planet. This collection came out for the May the 4th collection that they did earlier this year and I really love the collection. I picked up three I think from them and this is a beautiful mid-toned blue with a purpley shimmer to it it just looks almost like kind of like a frozen appearance frozen ice frozen water um, and it looks really really great on the nails nice easy two coats and like i say that one i was reminded to wear by my son so two coats of hoff by prison polish the last uk indie is i have to get off this planet by cure nails and this was inspired by a quote by Loki. Uh, we're actually watching the Loki TV series on Disney Plus at the moment, which prompted me to remember that I had this. Uh, I think we've got one or two episodes to go, and really enjoying it. So this is a dark green base, and then there is a ton of flakies in there, and the flakies do really glow from within the dark jelly base, and the jelly base is very um, opaque still, so it's a really great proportion of jelly base to bright flakies. Really enjoyed it, a nice easy two coater. So that one there was Cunha, I have to get off this planet two coats and on to the other ones that I wore this month we have one from Anchor and Heart and this is a Happy Accident 2.0 this is a light green base and then the reason why I liked this was because it had bronze and turquoise glitter in the greeny base this is very sheer I guess this is why this is a problem of a prototype polish three coats just about got it there to be wearable but I would have liked it a smidgy darker um, still a really unique mix and I, I'm really drawn to this color combination wish the uh, coats were thicker and more opaque so three coats of happy accident by anchor and heart and of course all indies will be linked down below except from this one which is our monthly hair polish and this one is called golden years this was a little bit thicker which is totally fine because it's probably getting on towards a decade old so i might need to thin it before i pop it pop it away when i first bought this i thought it was like a black base with the um golden glitters in there but actually i'm just going to spill it and it's going to go everywhere but actually it was more of a blue base yeah it's probably only filled up to about there it's more of like a dark navy base with the golden glitters in there or it's like a slate gray but then there's blue glitters and gold and i really love the blue and gold together in i guess the smoky base you don't really get that combination a lot um i just miss hair polish so much uh three coats of golden years which is our hair polish for the month and then i have two rewears uh over half of the polishes I wore this month were green, so clearly I was feeling a vibe. I wore um, Susie the First Lady of Nails, which is a camo dark green. It's like a pretty, pretty nice dark green. It's not like ugly pretty. There's something um, a little bit more leafy. 
about it camo um really like that one nice easy to coat cream from opi there susie the first lady of nail and then i dug out faux shizzle which is by kb shimmer which is a polish po polish pickup exclusive and it's a green um linear holographic within large green flakies and it's meant to smell like marijuana to me when i first when i applied it this time i was like oh maybe the scent has gone no you can't really smell it when it's wet. It's only once it dries onto your nails that you do smell it. And again, to me, it smelled like licorice. Um, so whether that's what that's meant to smell like or not. But a uh, really nice dark, like green, flakies, hollow, all the good stuff. Two coats of Faux Shizzle by KB Shimmer. So really short and sweet this month. Those are the polishes that I wore um, and everything that I re wore, wore. Like I say, I will link down below to all those videos. So in case you missed any of my many swatch and reviews for the month, I will link them down there. Let me know what you wore in November and if you're starting to get ready for Christmas. And hope you had a good Thanksgiving if you've been celebrating in here i don't put a christmas tree up till december i'm just not one of those people and we um, are going to be away a little bit over like middle december as well so i feel we're putting a christmas tree up and then going away for a few days and then coming back again because i know that my christmas tree will be destroyed in those few days that we go away um so yeah it's weird that the next video that we're going to do is going to be december favorites which will be the end of 2021 so i hope you have a good end to your year I will see you in a month's time with that video and obviously sooner with other videos. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you then. Bye.